In this problem, a given horizontal confined aquifer is comprised of four layers, containing the properties given below. The total transmissivity is 1,000 feet squared per day. What is the hydraulic conductivity in layer two in feet per day? So this problem is very easy and can be solved in only a few steps. So if we look at the Civil Engineering Reference Manual, version 1.2, and we search for aquifer, we can find in chapter six, a section on confined aquifers. So on page 427, aquifer transmissivity is given as T equals K times B in feet squared per second. What's given here is actually feet squared per day but we can use that too as long as we remain consistent throughout the problem. On the next page of the reference manual, there's a section titled Multiple Aquifer Layers. Here and elsewhere on these two pages, we can find that K is the hydraulic conductivity per unit width, and we can find that B is the individual layer thickness. So we have been given the total transmissivity so all we have to do is subtract the transmissivity of the known layer to isolate the unknown layer, then divide by the layer thickness to find the hydraulic conductivity. So let's get started. Step one is to solve for the transmissivity of each individual layer. So we have a 10 foot thickness times 45 feet per day and that will give us 450 feet squared per day. Layer two is our unknown. So we have 20 feet times X and we don't have the known yet. Then we have for layer three, 40 feet times five feet per day equals 200 feet squared per day. And then finally, we have 80 feet times 0 0.6 feet per day. This gives us 48 feet squared per day. So next we have our subtraction. So we have 1000 feet squared per day minus the sum of one, three, and four. So 450 plus 200 plus 48 feet squared per day. And this gives us 302 feet squared per day. Finally, with step three, all we have to do is divide 302 feet squared per day by the unit thickness of the second layer, so 20 feet and that will give us an answer of 15.1 feet per day. So that would be the number over here, which we can see is the third answer to our left. And that's all it takes to solve this problem. So this problem could have also asked you to find the equivalent hydraulic conductivity of the whole area. This equation is also present in the reference manual on page 428. So as always, I think it makes sense to familiarize yourself with the entire section while you're studying and not just use the equations that you find when you're solving the problems. See what else is in there and try to ask yourself what other things the test could throw at you instead.